the fuck? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hello guys, Sebastian 11 here and today I'll talk to you guys- uh, what? Oh. Hello guys, Sebastian 11 here and today I will showcase this one. It's the- it's the- no, it's not the brand new but one. But it's the new FMJ who is, um, you know, it's um, based on the Aston Martin Vulcan, as you can see on the headlights and stuff, like the design of it on the front. And you can see the rear end is a bit of La Ferrari. No, it's not much La Ferrari. It's nearly no La Ferrari here. But it's mostly the, f the newest Ford GT 2017. So, I have been getting to know this car and I know it pretty well. So, if I'm crashing it, yeah, it's just because I suck at it. You know, we suck at it driving, you know. And you haters might agree with me on that. So, whatever, before we, you know, really do start things off here. That I just want to say, this car has the same top speed as the Trufade Adder. That means it's f it's just fast as the Bugatti Veyron Supersport. And it's... Well, in the game files, it says this one takes 125 miles an hour. I mean, like, in GTA, it's, um, the car is not fast as they are in real life. That is actually why they did change it on the papers and stuff, you know. They, they did take away, like, stuff like the adder, for example. They said it was doing 250 miles an hour. And then, yeah. It did 125 miles an hour, but it isn't very really realistic. It's because if we was if this if the the cars had the real top speed, that would be funny. But anyway, if the car had the real top speeds and stuff, well, it was it uh, it would go so fast that it we couldn't the map couldn't be loading in. I mean, on PC the cars is faster and stuff. You might you might know that. But anyway, let's just let us start with this car. This is the Vapid FMG. And um, yeah, I already told you what it was based off the 4GT and the Aston Martin. Welcome. So this car has extremely good handling and stuff. Well, and it's really fast. It's the fastest rear wheel drive car in the game. It, no, that's the Banshee 900R, but it doesn't really count because that isn't uh, a, um, you know, it isn't, um, you know, a proper car. It's not a proper car. It's more like tuner, and tuner doesn't really count. So, yeah, let us just take a look what we what we can, you know, customize on this, on this bitch. Like, what can the best mechanic fix that one. That's better. I'm just going to. I can sell for one. Ooh, I can sell for one million one hundred and eighty thousand. That's a lot. Okay, spoilers. Lip spoiler, bigger. That's a ductile spoiler. Carbon wing, G wing. Actually had that one, but I didn't like it. It ruined the looks of it. Okay, and we can roof scoops. Some behind it. For you guys who loves to race. I can choose between those. It's a lot. I was expecting a lot when the car first came out, but I mean the interior is just really different to all the to the, all the other cars. If you guys was wondering, and that's the customization. So, it is faster than the T20, as you guys was expecting, and it is the quickest rear wheel drive car around the track. That means it's quicker than the Turismo R. That's well, it's nearly quick as the T20, though. But for this one, you're getting better looking, funnier to drive and stuff. Because I own both of them. And this car costs a lot too. 
You can choose between the boring Osiris and you can choose between this one. The Osiris costs you 1,950,000. This one costs you 1,750,000. So that means the Osiris is 200,000 more. And this one isn't much slower around the track. But it has higher top speed though. And um, you are going to catch up with an Os Osiris. And that means the driver and the track though, but... If it's a lot of straight, you should really use this car. So, and that was it for today. And I hope this, um, you know, information about car really did help you out. So, if you... But if you are stuck between these two cars, the Reaper and this one, and you haven't been buying any, any of those yet, I, I just think you should buy the Reaper because... I mean, that's not because I like the Reaper most, I, I just think that the Reaper is much more exciting, it's better to look at, it's cheaper, it's it not it isn't fast as, as this one. But it is... It is nearly fast as this one. Nearly. And as I said, it is a half a mile an hour slower than the T20, the Reaper. This one is much faster than the T T T T T the T20. But if you're going after top speed uh, in, you know, out of these two cars, you should buy this one. This is the fastest car in this DLC. And later on, I'm going to talk about the new update after I have been testing all the new cars. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you all for watching and you haters please give me a dislike please um, please unsubscribe if you already have been subscribing please just unsubscribe and please don't watch my channel anymore if you hate it so so very much and please dislike the video if you hated it and to you people who actually like things and stuff please give me a like please subscribe if you're new and please give me a comment if it is something you want me to do in the future so I see you guys next video and peace out and have a great day.